the ceiling here is wet again, um, and it looks like mold coming out of it. So I believe that this reflects what's going on on the insides of the walls. It's not the first time Anita Sasser has had problems with her Tempo at Encore apartment near downtown Tampa. I moved in this apartment complex in May uh, this year, and in June I started having like issues, like it was a leak in the carpet, and then I saw a leak in the, on the roof and the ceiling, and then there was another one, and one of them had like some black stuff. Sasser says there was also water damage in the bathroom and lots of mold behind the dishwasher. I just don't need to be, you know, in this situation, period. Sasser says she started feeling ill, so she got a professional mold test that found hazardous levels of the fungus in her home. The 63-year-old, who lives on a fixed income, has since started staying with her daughter and grandchildren. I'm tired. I'm just, I'm a, tired of going through this. I really am. Sasser says workers have come out to address most of the issues, but she says she's frustrated that the same thing keeps happening. The Tampa Housing Authority said property managers do have a meeting with Sasser tomorrow, so they could not yet comment on this situation. But we do know problems with this property go back for years, longer than it's been open. The CEO told us in February, THA had to fire one of the contractors for shoddy work. Windows not put in properly, it rained, didn't bother to put anything over the windows open and, and all of that, raining inside the building, uh, um, leaky walls, you name it. They, it, was, it was a mess. Sasser says she feels like things are still a mess. I want to cry, I want to hold out, I want to be strong, I want to, it's just so many mixed emotions that's going on inside me.